Hello and welcome to my channel, where I explore both art and royals from 15th and 16th century Europe. In today's video I would like to talk about very common issue in portraits from that era, of which public is almost completely unaware of. And that is darkening of pigments. It's phenomenon where chemical reaction occurs within pigments and they go dark. It's irreversible and conservation cannot fix it. This is very common with hair pigments in portraits. Because many artists tried to get exact match to person's real hair color and experimented to get there, and some mixtures over time turned to brown or black. Even if person had light blonde hair in real life. Let's look at few examples of that. Queen Joanna's darkened portrait is in big contrast to one where her hair is still strawberry blonde. And in this manuscript Joanna is depicted alongside her mother Queen Isabella, who also had strawberry blonde hair. Although bit more into golden shades than most undarkened depictions show. Darkening could also occur in clothes. Originally in this portrait both hair and dress of Queen Isabella were golden. But both turned brown. Portrait of Mary the first originally showed her in purple gown, and with golden hair. Most depictions of her as queen now show reddish-brown hair, and only copies suggest that she had golden strawberry blonde hair even as adult. Mary Tudor, Queen of France was described in her lifetime as having red hair. Thus her raven hair in portraits must be due to darkening of pigments. So-called Toledo portrait is fine example of when more than just hair pigments in portrait go dark. Eyes and skin are also affected. This happened quite often in Holbin's workshop towards end of his life. This other version of it shows colors more true to original intentions. Skin is fair, eyes are gray and hair could be strawberry blonde or very light brown. You might be also surprised to hear that even brown-haired people could be victims of darkening of pigments. Depictions of King Ferdinand of Aragon show him mostly with dark brown or black hair. Except one where his hair could pass for blonde. Yet period records state King Ferdinand indeed had brown hair. But perhaps more to light or medium brown rather than raven. All of this is big deal because it contributes to paintings being misidentified. People will assume the sitter had brown hair in real life, and parts over portrait where the hair is different color. Unless they are already aware of this issue. And that is why I am making this video, to spread awareness. There are plenty of other issues within period art, some quite common, some quite rare. But if public knows of them, more portraits can be properly identified. I hope you've enjoyed this and that it has been at least bit informative. If you'd like to see more videos like it, leave a comment, like and subscribe.